In Genshin Impact 5.0, Capitano will play a major role in the story of Natlon. We still don't know his identity, but in the 5.0 trailer and livestream we got some hints about it. So let's discuss a theory on who he might be. Ael Capitano, or the Captain, is the first of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. He is extremely powerful, though he uses his power with responsibility. Wanderer, however, views such attribute negatively and points out that holding absolute righteousness is a potential hazard. Novelette informed the Traveler that Capitano was in Natlon and had thrown his hat into the nation's endless ring of war. In the Natlon Archon quest we would see an intense battle between Capitano and Mavuka, the Pyro Archon. However Mavuka told Capitano. I don't know what you mean, but it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Which implies that Capitano is not fully aligned with the Fatui. Obtaining the Pyrognosis may not be his main goal and seems to have something more personal. In this scene we have seen Capitano using the power of Cryo, but it's not pure Cryo and looks corrupted. It could possibly be some Abyss stuff. He looks similar to Child in Foul Legacy Transformation, both also wear masks. Capitano might be the Bloodstained Knight. The Bloodstained Knight was part of Mondstadt's Knight of Favonius 500 years ago. Formerly known as the White Knight, he would often jump at the opportunity to correct any injustice he witnessed. And insisted chivalry was its own reward. Sometime during his many expeditions, the knight began to lose himself in the cutting down of his foes. He convinced himself that the feeling he was getting was satisfaction in justice being served and continued towards his goal of purging the world of evil. As the knight continued towards his goal, he became increasingly stained by blood from all the monsters he fought, changing the appearance of his sword, armor and accessories as they all became stained black. The people that he saved from monsters understandably fled in fear from him, seeing him as another monster. He eventually came to the realization that there was no place left for him and went to an ancient fallen kingdom, intending to die in battle against the monsters there. However, he instead learned that the monsters were in fact the people of the fallen kingdom under a curse. He decides that this was the ultimate injustice, and pledges himself to the abyss. The black sword was his weapon, while the artifact set bloodstained chivalry was once his possession. Capitano too is most probably from Mondstadt. As in the Winter Nights Lazo trailer he referred to Signora by her last name. Which is mostly referred to your senior. And the blood-stained knight worked with Rostam, her lover. From Mika's letter we got to know that Capitano had a good relation with Barca. They even worked together in a few cases. Which is totally different from how he acted towards Mavuka. Scaramouch mentioning that Capitano is way too righteous two matches with the blood-stained knight. One other thing is that during the live stream they said that Capitano doesn't feel scorching heat even though he is always wearing that mask in Natlon. Now this could be due to his cryo vision or delusion. Or maybe there is something else to him. Comment below what you think.